Can somebody call my phone so I can find it? Yeah, it's gonna hard. Have a smoke. When opening a place with friends, there's bound to be a few miscommunications. Smart. You look like I've actually got a plan on shit, man. I should have just said, hey, at your discretion. <laughs> I was like, I was like, don't anybody in here. <laughs> so I get a message from Adam one night and he says, come on up to the bar where you at? You know, uh, come on up there. If we're not there, knock on the door, Haley let you in. And uh, you're good. You know, I didn't ask if it was Haley or whatever. I don't know. That's the first time we met. And I walked around in the door because I knew the code. And uh, all of a sudden, she's like, you got to go outside. Adam's like, can't have anybody in here until he gets here. Which completely was the opposite of what I had just read 15 minutes prior. Oh, the sweetest giant in the world. It was you like, you can't go. I bet he was like. He's like, OK, no. And Joey said, it's because we're having a midget come strip. And he was like. Nothing to me. I went back out that way in my car because I can entertain myself. I don't have to have people sit out there, kind and patient. It was like 30 minutes later. I called him. I was like, man, I was like, it's, I told her not let anybody in, and so he was fine with it. And then when he, you called and said he was still out there, I was like, what are you doing? Is that vagina outside? Ah, I was on the Walking Dead. <laughs> you never, we tell you about this time when I met Tyler Maine. And he went through that whole story, and then. I just told her it was cool to let me in, so I got back in. I didn't mind. I didn't mind at all sitting outside, man. Be from night like nothing. It was a bust of rhymes. It was the worst of rhymes. Well, I followed orders. <laughs> I know. No, you, no, you did. And I, but I just didn't explain it right. I didn't mind. <laughs>